There's this famous quote that sport is the microcosm of life in the sense that it teaches us things nothing else can teach us. We work our entire lives for one moment and one day it can just be over. And you have to fall down, get up again, fail fast and just move on. When I retired from professional cycling, I kind of recognized I wanted to respect my roots a little bit. I need to go back and figure out what I had done the last 15 years because I got so caught up in the minute details of being a pro cyclist that I kind of forgot how I got there. My first road bike, I got at a bike shop when I was 13. Old steel frame, by no means cutting edge technology at the time. And this bike came back into my life in, in 2016. I had let it go in 1998. I had moved on to bigger, faster, stronger bikes. And for it to, to resurrect back into my life, I figured it was for a reason. That's where the pros closet came in and they offered to, to build this bike back up for the Eroica California ride. They were able to build this up with this, like this 1981 Shimano Durace group that looks sparkling and like as if nobody's ever touched it. That's when you start to, to realize that this bike came back in my life for a reason. <laughs> I really think that whatever you put into the bike, you're going to get out. And if you put in hard work, positivity, and grit, you're going to get a lot out of that. If you're putting a lot of negativity and expecting it to do the work for you, you're not going to get anything out of it. It's a human-powered machine, and it connects us as humans. It provides this freedom we really can't have anywhere else. I think by the time I was 18, I had explored every road in Napa Valley. And so for me, like it was this ultimate freedom to explore and that was what ultimately drove me to being a professional cyclist. I always say that you can get from the past to the present and from the present to the future, but you can never go from the past to the future. And we have a tendency to do that as human beings and really try to get to where you're going without focusing on where you are in life and especially without recognizing where you've been. Yes, that's the beauty of it all is that you don't get to make a plan. You just get to get out there and put your nose into the wind and hope it all works out. And when it doesn't, make an adjustment. Simple as that. I'm